Welcome to the third and last part of our trilogy. In part one, we, sel we selected hardware, we set the goal to create a small touchpad with built-in gesture detection running on the SAM L10 MCU. We used part two to configure the code uh, via start. We implemented debugging to prepare ourselves of usage of our 2D touch surface GUI. And this is exactly what part three is all about. We want to show you what we did and we want to visualize our results. First of all, where to find the 2D touch surface utility. For all things touch, it's always advised to start with microchip.com slash touch. What you see is our landing page for all touch offerings, button sliders, wheels, 2D touch pads, 3D gestures, benefits of microchip touch. Everything is here. Today, it's all about our 2D offering, so this is where we go, and to be exact, we want to do this with an MCU. So we talk about 2D touchpads on MCU. And right here, under documentation, you will find our 2D touch surface utility. Please download and install. I did this al already, and off we go. Here we are with our 2D touch surface utility. We connect it via USB to our Explain Pro. The COM port for communication got detected automatically. We select the board RAID and off we go. The GUI itself will visualize the position on, of your finger on the touchpad. Furthermore, if you take a close look to the lower right corner, you get real-time information about the performed gestures. Please be aware that the gesture detection is happening on chip inside the MCU as we configured it in uh, the code configurator. We have swipes, swipe and hold e events. We configure dual finger gesture. So let's see what happens. Here we are. Dual finger swipes. We have rotations. You might change direction as you want. And we have the ever loved pinch and zoom. All of that by configuring code using the code configurator we actually wrote only one line of code. Thank you for your time. I'm looking forward to how you make use of this 2D Touch library and uh, how you make use of our tools. Please your feedback on these short, uh, short videos and I'm looking forward to see you again here soon. Bye-bye.